What's up everyone, Respect here, and today I have a tutorial on how to do wave warp, and I know that Baker and, I'm pretty sure Baker and Meek did one, but I was just trying to, trying to upload something and show you how I do it, and I'm starting this new tutorial channel, and there will be a link in the description for it, it's called Get Editing Swag, and I hope it gets pretty big, it's in my sub box too. Um, so yeah, go check them out, or I mean us, I guess, I already have the markers done, because I've done this tutorial like seven times now, and I've failed, right now. Um, okay, well, I already sing the song up, because the first time I tried to do it, I, like, I just kept listening to the same part, because the composition was, wasn't long enough, so I had to fix that, I just looked at the totally. Um, so yeah, first you're gonna sing the song up with the shot, if it's an OCE, if it's a episode, I guess, I don't know. Alright, well, this is first. So yeah, uh, just listen to it. And... Yeah, just put the marker right there. Or wherever you sink it. Here, wait. Here we go. Alright, sorry, I had to like, I can't hear it because I, the first time I tried it, I couldn't hear it really. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it and be pissed if it's fails, but, wait. Yeah, so that's synced up. Um, then you're gonna listen to it one more time and put the beats, because now you know where the shot is, so you can start putting the markers right there, so I'll listen to it one more time. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's synced, just because of how far the markers are apart. Okay, so now you're gonna drag on wave warp, just type in the wave warp. Uh, I don't know why my computer does this every time I click on something and drag it, you know, like, does this or not because didn't do it. He usually like does like that though. But didn't do it that time. Um click make sure you click all edges so those will go away. Change this to four. Keep that at ten. That's just the way I like it. No homo. Um actually the first way I'm gonna show you you can just change it to about five. Maybe six, depending on what you really like. Um, first, you're gonna keyframe these two. Go back one keyframe, change it to zero. Zero. And you also need to change the direction to zero. Or not. Zero. Um, actually, that looks terrible, so I'm gonna change that. Change the height to about six, maybe seven. You don't want it to look wave, like, you know, it's called wave warp. You want it to look kind of like razors, I guess. So, yeah, it'll look like that. And go one keyframe before that, change that to zero. Alright, and then you're going to put it back to ten, back to six. Change this back to zero, like I just said. And for some reason, that changes to one, but... Don't worry, it won't mess up your clip at all. Alright, change this to 10, change this to 6. 0, 0. Okay, so it'll look kind of like this. And you can really change these on whatever your preferences are to what they look like. I'm gonna ramp preview it to make sure it's all synced up. And I just got this hit marker like. Yesterday, I think, uh, February 16th, and I was pissed because I like my cousin was at my house and I wasn't really paying attention. I just randomly did that because I was AFK and I just came back and did that. I was like, freaking out. Know.
Yeah, you can, that wasn't really that noticeable. Like, you can change this to, I don't know, like, seven or eight. Maybe it'll be more noticeable, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna control Z it, because that's not really, I don't know. All right, well, yeah, that's the first way you do it. The second way you can do it. Well, there's more than two ways, but these are the two ways I like to do it. Now I'm up again. Um, change this back to 90. And then change that to four because it looks better like that to me. Um, okay, you're gonna click this because you're gonna need to delete all your keyframes. By the way, for this, if okay, now you're gonna go one keyframe before, like before. Actually, now you're gonna go to the keyframe and go one before zero zero. That way, it won't be. Alright, sorry, I thought someone was calling me. Um, anyways, you need to get back here. Keyframe direction. Um, go right here. And you're gonna change the direction to about 260. Oh, yeah, also, um, I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh. When you do it this small like this, on when you're turning it like that, it's really not that noticeable. Like it, it looks kind of noticeable right now because when you like switch back and forward, it's obviously not the same. But when you, you like when you look at it, actually, it doesn't look that noticeable. So you're gonna change this back up to five, six. Okay, that's five. Maybe six. So that way, it'll be really noticeable. back up here keyframe these two then you're gonna go one keyframe forward and just zero zero one keyframe back ten six keyframe direction again okay we're gonna go right there keyframe these two keyframe direction and change it back to 90 or just close to 90, it's really not a big, okay, better than 90. Um, and then you're gonna go one keyframe after again. Zero, zero, keyframe four, ten, six, keyframe direction again. Go back up here, wait. Okay. Um, one minute, okay. Keyframe all these again. Change direction back to 260. That's not the direction I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, right there. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I know you guys don't wanna just watch me do this all the time. You guys wanna start editing for anyone that's watching this or whatever. Um, I don't know if I should upload tutorials regularly because I'm not sure what my fans like, if I have any really, but, or my subscribers. I'm not sure if you guys like to see edits or episodes or promos or tutorials like this, but and when you're done doing all these like the wave warps, you gotta go to the last one, change it back to zero, so that way it won't just stay like that, like I just showed. That looked kind of stupid. How it was all like. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Alright, let me rerun preview it again. 
See, I don't use this one that much. I use the first one that I showed you most of the time when I do wave warp, which isn't really often, but so I'm not very sure on how to do this part, so. Yeah, so it's kind of stupid, but I would suggest doing it the first way, to be honest. No, we're not really, it's not, I'm not saying it's better, but I'm saying like, based off this tutorial, um, it's kind of obvious that I know how to use the first one better, so that's what I'm suggesting to you. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess just, you can just mess around with this however you want. This isn't really like this way right here. I know I didn't really get into explaining it that much, but I don't use this that much. This is just for uh, kind of basing it off of it. This first one, I mean the second one. Um, but I guess comment below on what you think I should uh, do tutorials on because I wasn't very sure on what I should do on this one. Because, I don't know, I just, I started up a t uh, tutorial channel. I'm not sure if I already said that, because I've done this like f seven times, like I said. I'm not sure if I said that either, but, um, yeah, I started a tutorial channel, and the, the link will be in the description, so go check it out. That's why I'm doing this, really. And I guess for subs, but, so, yeah, subscribe and like and comment on what you think I should do tutorials on, so. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cool. But okay, well, I guess thanks for watching, guys. Um, peace out.